You heard it here first, folks. Tom Hiddleston just serenaded my b You heard it here first. Oh, hello. Welcome back to my Chanel. As I'm sure you can all relate, I've had many celebrity crushes throughout my life. And I have thought about what I would wear if I were to meet any of them. So for today's video, I wanted to show you what I would wear if I were to meet my celebrity crushes, as well as getting their reaction. I have to say, I think Tom Hiddleston's was my favorite reaction. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Oh, I freaking love Skillshare. <laughs> Thank you again so much for sponsoring my video. Skillshare is an online learning community where you can take tons of classes on a variety of subjects. You can learn anything from art, photography, graphic design, YouTube video editing, music production. The options are limitless. And I also teach several classes on Skillshare as well, which I will leave down below in the description box for you to check out. So to the first thousand subscribers that click on the link in the description box, you will get a free premium trial membership of Skillshare. One class that I've really been liking lately on Skillshare is by a lady called Halise. She teaches a class called Video for Instagram, Tell an Engaging Story in Less Than a Minute. And this class is right up my alley because I love making short, engaging content. So she's been giving me tons of tips and tricks on how to do that. I also just really love her setup. It's very professional and well lit. One of my favorite things about Skillshare is that there are no ads. And they're always launching new premium classes, which is great for someone like me who burns through content really quickly. So I'm always looking for something new to learn. So all that being said, and without further ado, let's dive into this video. So the first celebrity on my list, of course, is Johnny Depp. I have loved Johnny for years. I first saw him in the first Pirates of the Caribbean film, and I just thought he was so quirky and fun. I instantly fell in love, and the rest is history. I've watched just about every single film that he's been in. I love that he and Tim Burton team up so often, and I've always loved the variety of characters that he plays, so this is the outfit that I would wear to meet him. He also just seems like a really down-to-earth, lovely, sweet person. Staying true to my gothy self, I'm wearing an all-black outfit. I love this skirt. It's so cute with the little crosses on the end. One of my newest thrifting finds, this moon belt. A riveting crop top. Some thigh-high socks, and of course you cannot go wrong with these Demonia platform boots. They are my favorite. The only thing is I'm not sure how tall he is, so... Hopefully I won't tower over him in these boots. <laughs> Finished off the outfit with some accessories, some crescent moon earrings, and some chains. I think this wig is my favorite that I own. I love all the purple colors in it, and it was custom made for me by Shop Will Beauty. So all that being said, let's see what Johnny thinks of my outfit. I'm scared to death. I'm frightened, and I don't know what to do. I'm confused, and I want to go home. Ooh, I was not expecting that. Sounds like he doesn't like it. Uh, on to the next one. <laughs> next on my celebrity crush list is Robert Downey Jr. Iron Man was the first Marvel film that I ever saw. And of course, how could you not love this genius billionaire playboy philanthropist? He really is Tony Stark, I'm convinced. <laughs> I also love him in Sherlock Holmes. So my outfit to meet RDJ. I feel like no matter what I would wear, he would roast me, so why not give him some material to work with? <laughs> I'm wearing this gorgeous powder blue dress from Shein, and one of my favorite corsets on top, it is an iridescent corset. I found this on Amazon. And to go with that, of course, I had to wear some iridescent crescent moon earrings. And for my shoes, I have had these for a while, but I haven't had an opportunity to wear them out yet. So what better occasion to wear these than seeing him? These are clear pink pleaser heels with sparkly unicorns for the heels. These are insane and I love them so much. I've been on a real pastel rainbow kick lately, so when I saw these, knew I had to have them. So let's see what he has to say about my outfit. I want one. No. Tony, you make me blush. <laughs> I'll have to respectfully disagree, Pepper. He can have one. <laughs> I'm sure most of you already know who he is, but Alexander Skarsgård is my next celebrity crush. He was my absolute favorite character on True Blood. I love Eric so much. He did such an amazing job portraying a vampire, and he's just a very handsome man. <laughs> so, to meet Mr. Skarsgård, this is what I would wear. I know, I'm not wearing a wig. Shocking. <laughs> this is my real hair, guys. And I wanted to keep it more in the gothy vibe because, you know, he did play a vampire. So I'm wearing this really cute black bodycon dress with a mesh duster, one of my staple pieces. Of course, I had to throw some PVC in there, you know, because of Pam. And these shoes, oh, 
they're incredible. These are sparkly black and silver cobweb shoes that I found at Macy's of all places. And I felt very elegant in this whole ensemble, so I am ready to meet him. So let's see what he thinks. Would you like to be mine? Yes, Eric, I will be yours. I can't believe Sookie didn't say yes to him. She's crazy. Especially after he was all sweet when he lost his memory. I love him so much. So my next celebrity crush is Buttercup Cumbersnatch. I mean, Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> I love all the ways that people spell and say his name online. There are way too many good ones. There are so many roles of his that I love. Sherlock, Smog the Dragon, but my current favorite has to be Doctor Strange. His American accent, perfect. <laughs> And also because I'm a huge Marvel nerd. <laughs> so my outfit to meet Mr. Cumbersnatch. I love this dress, so I had to wear it. It is my black and white bodycon dress, which I got from Shein. My amazing Why Are You sandals. I love these, and I think he's really tall, so maybe those will make me as tall as he is. <laughs> and of course, a black wig. And I wanted to have a red lip just to contrast with the rest of the outfit. Add a little pop of color in there. This dress always makes me feel really sexy, so of course I wanted to feel my best when meeting him. I do wonder if he has any kind of opinion on goth people, so I guess we're about to find out. Benedict, what do you think of my ensemble? And that's a weird, unruly beast. Is it weird that I think him calling me a beast is a compliment? <laughs> All right, next up is a very well-known celebrity. That is Tom Ellis. My boyfriend actually introduced me to the show Lucifer, and I have been binging it ever since. I believe season four is out now, and I think I just have a fondness for British men with the name Tom. <laughs> I love his character on Lucifer. He is so debonair, dashing, and charming. So my outfit to meet Tom Ellis. I had to go fancy with this one, so I have this gorgeous red and black overbust corset and this incredible big black skirt. I love how fluffy this is, and wearing this with a corset always makes me feel really confident. I went very extra with my jewelry. I have this beautiful red choker and earrings to match. And I know it's summer right now, but I feel like I would want to bring this fur coat just to look a little more fancy and bougie, and in case we're going somewhere that's air conditioned. And once again, I'm wearing no wig, just my natural hair. Gotta let the beast out once in a while, you know? <laughs> so, what do you think, Tom? Any particular features that you may fancy? So there you go. I'm now the proud owner of your backside. Well, I was not expecting him to say that. <laughs> Next! <laughs> so last, but certainly not least, one of my absolute favorites, Tom Hiddleston. I've loved Loki since 2011 when the first Thor film came out. I was always drawn to him as a character, and I've never understood why someone would choose Thor over Loki. Loki is clearly the superior brother. Plus I just have a thing for tall, dark, and toxic men apparently. <laughs> So Loki is right up my alley. I remember the first time I saw Tom Hiddleston without any of the hair and makeup for Loki, I was surprised because I thought that his normal hair was black because it just suits him so well, but he is in fact a blonde. I actually almost met Tom once in New York City. He was finishing his Broadway show called Betrayal, and I went outside after the show to try to talk to him and get his signature, but alas, I did not get to talk to him. But I did wear this same wig when I saw him on Broadway. So for my outfit, I had to pull out my favorite PVC dress, and one of my favorite pairs of shoes, these really chunky boots from House of Widow. I love all the spiderweb detail and the little spider charms that are dangling all over the boot. And this is a small detail, you can't really see it from far away, but I actually got myself a Loki ring as an early birthday present. It is now one of my favorite pieces of jewelry. And of course, a black choker completes the look. So Tom, what do you think? Your thighs and buttocks are so holdable. Big booty. You gotta stay on top of the big booty. You heard it here first, folks. Tom Hiddleston just serenaded my butt. <laughs> My booty isn't that big, but thank you, Tom. I appreciate that. <laughs> so that is it for my outfits I'd wear to meet my celebrity crushes and their reactions. Who was your favorite reaction? Let me know down in the comments. Of course, like I said earlier, Tom's was my favorite. Tom Hiddleston, specifically. <laughs> Have you guys met any of your celebrity crushes? I'd love to hear your stories. I hope you're having a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.